So when I have dreams, my dreams are usually pretty vivid and in most cases very, very random. And I have this one dream that I still remember so vividly now that was just so confusing and so random from like all the way back to kindergarten. So in the dream, I'm not an adult. I'm a tiny little human. I'm just a child. So anywho, it started off where I was on a boat with my brother and I was surrounded by a lot of other children around my age, a child, so just lots of children on this boat in the middle of the ocean without any adults or supervision. And suddenly the sea just starts turning rough into a storm. Like the storm is just rapidly, rapidly starting to rain. And all the other children are starting to scream and panic. And me and my brother, we kind of just stood there calm watching the chaos go on we weren't like feeling anything but just like observing what was happening and i happened to notice like a movement in the corner of my eye in those like raging waters and so i like i shifted closer to the edge to try and see what was happening when i noticed a little girl another well they we're all we're all the same age there so just an, and one of the girls fell off the boat fell overboard and without even she didn't even get to hit the water a crocodile literally leaped out of the ocean and swallowed her whole in one gulp. And the only reason I wasn't scared of it was because it just like made me think about Captain Hook from Peter Pan and I was like, I she'll be fine. And so in, but then instead instead of thinking about that, I immediately focused in on my brother because he ended up also falling off, but he didn't get eaten. He landed on the back of a giant crocodile. And the only thought in my mind at that moment was I have to save him. So I jumped off the boat myself and I landed on the back of a jet ski, but I wasn't alone because, like, again, kindergarten, I'm a child. So, like, I know for a fact I can't drive that jet ski. So there was, like, a figure in front of me who was driving it for me. You know, like, in movies, you have those people in the background. You know they're there, but they're not, like, fully, de- fully like, detailed. Like, I had that. that. There was a person just there to drive the, drive the jet ski for me. And I'm like, follow that jet ski. So the jet ski's racing across the storming ocean and my brother's having a, a full on rodeo on the back of a giant crocodile. And I'm just like, kind of just like, ha- that scene's just happening for a while of rodeo, crocodile rodeo and me chasing after him in a jet ski being driven by someone else. And then suddenly the dream just shifts and suddenly I'm just like walking and along a calm, a calm ocean wave at the beach and the shore. I'm just by myself, just walking along the shores. And the shores itself suddenly just like shifts in the middle of me walking through the waters. And now the waters are more murky because suddenly I'm at a swamp area. And I just keep waddling through the water to, to a ladder. And it's like, I've, I always seen, I saw, I saw when I was younger, like those houses that's on stilts so they don't get hit by the water. So like, I've always wanted to see that. So I climbed up the ladder and I was try. I entered into the house, that stilt house over the waters, and when I entered it, the walls were entirely pristine, pure white. Like it was like that picture perfect house you sometimes see in movies. And though I didn't look back during that dream, I knew in the back of my mind that the door that I just entered was no longer there, and it was just a blank wall. And so, like I'm looking around this pristine house, and suddenly the entire house just starts shaking, and the entire house just like creaks open. And I looked up and I saw a giant baby and I was like, oh my god, I am in a dollhouse. And so I'm sprinting as, as fast as I can to get away from this giant baby. And I'm just, I'm just running from that baby for a while. And then eventually I'm just like, again, I'm just walking again. There's no more baby. And I'm entering through those saloon doors. You've seen like pirate movies. So I entered this saloon door. And again, like a pirate theme movie where they have like the barrel stools and those like tall wooden wooden tables and they got like again i'm i'm like i'm a kindergarten elementary school student whatever not sure a specific age anymore but like i know like you those movies in the bar they usually have that one person the bartender who's just like wiping that glass so like there was no one there except that bartender wiping that glass that i didn't know was a beer glass at the time and so like I walk up to him, not to talk to him, but like to look at the bar, cause like if you ever, if you if you ever been to like medieval times, that the bar is like that is kind of like glass, 
and they have like little souvenirs and figurines in there that you could like look at to see if you want to buy anything so i like i was just, like i went up to the bar to look through the glass and i was looking at these like little little swords and little shields and i was like mm, this is nice and then i suddenly hear someone like because the sal saloon doors are like swingy and they made that squeaky sounds so i hear someone enter into the saloon doors and i turn to see who it is and who do i find but jack sparrow and then i woke up and i was just like i I don't know what just happened, but like it was really vivid and I just like really enjoy that dream because of how vivid it was and how entirely chaotic and random it was. But yeah, that's a dream I've had when I was younger a really, really long time ago. I hope you enjoyed. <laughs>